What up? Coming to you live from the park. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the rap right now. Look at that color. Oof. But anyways, welcome back to another video. Subscribe to the channel, Road to 5K Sub. What we're gonna do in today's video is that I've owned this Jimny for six months and I'm ready to sell it. The car is basically done. I put my hands everywhere where I wanted to and it's just perfect. In my opinion, this Jimny is my favorite K car ever. As much as I love the Bravo, I think that car was just too nice for me to really do anything to it. When I bought this car, it was basically non-running. The paint was disgusting. Everything about this car has been completely transformed. I'm gonna insert a lot of pictures throughout this video. We're gonna just talk about everything I bought. I'm gonna show the links to basically everything I bought too if you guys wanna get it for yourself. So if you own a Jimny, you own a J11, this is the video for you. So my plan for this video is to show you everything I got for the interior, the exterior. I'm gonna show you each and every part. So for example, this would be my tail lights. I'll show a picture of where I got it from Japan. Cause I got a lot of questions of where'd you get this, where you get that. This video is basically a complete build breakdown. I'm gonna go over everything, how much it costs. The only thing I'm really not gonna mention is the shipping cost cause that's different for everybody. But we're gonna go over a full build breakdown, including the car to see how much money I spent on my Jimny in the last six months. So with that being said, let's start off with the exterior and the most expensive thing that was done to the car and that would be the wrap. I wrapped the car myself with me, Jen, and a professional that actually helped me do the roof and one side of the car and I valued that at $2,000. I think that this car being completely wrapped would have cost maybe like 2,500 maybe even more depending on the color because this isn't a cheap color. As you can see, obviously, like it's a 3M where it switches color and stuff like that. So this color, not only is it discontinued, but it's expensive. Next, we would have the tire. So I got these from eBay, they were 538 bucks. These are like a perfect on off-road tire. I thought I was gonna go off-road anymore in this car. I didn't really even get to go once, which is very sad, but I'm in no rush to sell it. So maybe I'll get to do that. I definitely wanna drive in the snow unless somebody buys it like instantly from watching this video, but I definitely wanna drive this car in the snow because if you guys remember last year, I did snow drifting literally in this park and I wanna do the same exact thing with this one. So there's my tires, they're 205 70 16s. Next would be the rims. I got them for $300 from someone on Facebook Marketplace. I think they look pretty good. Don't really have any complaints. I also bought these. These came with my rims, which I bought in Japan, but they go for like $40. I'll show it on the screen right now. These go for like $40, $50. To me, it just makes it look a lot nicer. I even spray painted the hubs black. Because if you remember on the Jimny, these are all silver. So it gives it like a nice black finish look. And that's a Suzuki logo. So that's definitely a win. Next, we have the tow hook. I got this from Bayi. It was $7. Can't complain. I mounted it just like that pretty nice right next to that one of the best things i got for this car and only 25 dollars are these g-wagon inspired taillights super easy to install it basically just wired right up to the oem taillights no modifications needed where is it it's right there super easy one two three plug and play next we have the clear turn signals and side markers pretty nice they were only 38 bucks for the set to me, my car has no orange. I had the LED there, I had the new tail lights. I feel like I just had to get the clear lights. Another very expensive thing I got was these mirrors. So my car came with mirrors, but if you have a Jimny, you know that when it's too windy or something like that, this one in particular just starts moving like crazy. But I got new mirrors from Bai, and I don't really wanna move it too much, but like I'm, put, I'm putting some pressure and it doesn't move. So these are two brand new mirrors. Very nice. That was $204. Very expensive to buy mirrors for the Jimny, especially that one, like I mentioned. Next, we have wheel locks. That was 20 bucks. Just had to get some black ones to make the car look nicer. And then we have the hood scoop. Mine came cracked. I got this from All Things JDM, along with like 90% of my parts. This was 60 bucks. Wrapped it. The end came out pretty nice. My car also came with this. This was wrapped. Again, no complaints. Pretty nice. But to me, when you have that in your Jimny, it just makes it look a lot better. Now let's get into the interior, which I'm gonna show some before pictures. This thing has been completely transformed from not having a headliner, not having this, not really even having rear seats to, in my opinion, a very, very nice Suzuki Jimny interior. The seat covers give it a huge transformation. And then the shift knob, the boost gauge, everything looks OEM and really nice. So let's break down the interior now. So first thing I got, I didn't really need it, but in my opinion, it just makes the car nicer with the orange accents. Same with that is the transfer case shift knob. I got that from eBay, it was 20 bucks. Next, we got the Suzuki Samurai shift knob. This was $28. And then my boost gauge, this is right here, $49 from Glow Shift. And then the voltage gauge was $53. And then this pod I got from Bayi, 
Again, super easy to install. That was $23. So this whole setup, about 125 bucks. That's really not bad. And it makes the car look way cooler. Like, look at this. When you turn your lights on, it changes colors. I guess next we'll get into the ETC reader. That I'm gonna value at $100. I had it for a long time, but in my opinion, I wouldn't sell that for less than 100 bucks. After that, we got the radio. I get the cheap radio that I always get. This is only $37. Also put new speakers there. And here, as you can see, those were $48. Next, we have the seat covers. Also got these from All Things JDM. They were like $100 on Up Garage. They are made for the Jimny J11. They are from K Products. That's all I know really, but they came really nice. They come with two sets of um, headrests. Really nice here. Same thing for the back. Very easy to install. I mean, I kind of struggled, but in my opinion, they look really nice. Have the nice little red accents. And then you have some little storage pockets here, which I think are really clutch. Another thing that I love, got from Bai, is this little cubby. I don't really utilize it as much as I should, but in my opinion, must have mod for every Jimny. Who doesn't want more storage in my opinion? The Jimny doesn't even have a center console that we'll get into in a second, but this was like 80 bucks, I believe. Let me look at my phone. Yeah, this was $80 and come on, there's no flaws to having this at all. It just makes the car better in every single way. And speaking of making a Jimny better in every way, if you have a Jimny and you don't have these seat rails, you basically don't have rear seats. You know if you have a Jimny that there's little to no room. Look how far my seat is and it even adjusts more. All you have to do is pull that and that when you're sitting up there and it slides all the way forward, all the way back. You still get the same storage that you would get on your regular seat that does this. But with the seat rails, it just makes life a lot easier. I can have two full adults back here. It slides actually all the way back here, as you can see. Look, there's still so much room to go. Automatic, in my opinion, if you have a Jimny, you have to buy that. That was about $100 as well. Also got from all things JDM. And while we're back here, some DIY stuff that got done. Me and Jen did this. Well, mostly Jen, if I'm gonna be honest. We put this, I got this from a carpet store. It was about like 40 bucks. Same with the headliner. All we did was get glue and just black felt fabric and we put it down. The headliner looks flawless. Same thing for back here. I guess I could have cut this a little better, but not a big deal. Also sound deadening. I forgot to add sound deadening. All of this has sound deadening. I'll insert a picture right here. This whole thing under here. Look at that. You can kind of see the silver right there. Sound deadening all around the car. All up here too. I forgot. Wow. I did a lot of things. I forgot about that. That's like, I'm going to say like 60 bucks. Again, my opinion, if you have a Jimny, why not? There's no flaws to putting sound deadening. It just makes life a lot easier. It makes life a lot nicer. It makes a lot more quieter. A must have on your Jimny, on any car really, any K car. You guys know how much I love sound deadening. Now onto the driver's side. The car came with the steering wheel, so I'm not gonna give it any value. It did not come with the center console though. This is from a J22. It doesn't really stick, but if you have the floor mats here and then this two seat belt, it kind of holds it tight. Like you actually have to put some pressure. When I'm driving, it's not like it's going back and forth. It doesn't do that. So in my opinion, another must have for your Jimny. And then floor mats, my car came with these two nice little gray pattern and i bought these three so to complete the set in my opinion makes the jimny look a lot nicer you now have all the same oem floor mats that say suzuki i wish this one was a little nicer but it is a driver's side and at least that one has the white suzuki and super nice so no complaints again that was like 20 bucks and if you guys know me you know i love attention to detail so i also bought new door locks the ones in the jimny are not much different but five dollars why would you not make your gym look a little nicer and just a little different? Another cool mod. Sunlight was escaping me, so we had to move to the baseball field. But two more things plus a bonus before I pop the hood. Let's talk about the halos, fog lights, and the reverse light. That is very cool. So this car did not come with these halos. In my opinion, again, I know I said this like 30 times already. Another must-have mod. For only $90 in about 20 minutes of your time, you can have very bright LED headlights. And then these fog lights are only $30 on Amazon. Again, super easy to install. It was my first time ever doing this. I've done headlights on my old Jimny and like 7 Miata, so that's not a big deal. But a must-have mod. And then something that came with the car but it wasn't wired was this reverse light. This thing has been super clutch. I know it doesn't look very bright right now, but I'm reversing. These two LED lights are cool, but that additional light is just an extra plus. I'm not going to put a value on that because it came with the car, but I love that about this car. I want to put this to LED light, but I just never got around to it. Now let's pop the hood and get into everyone's favorite part about this car. 
the Blitz blow-off valve intercooler kit. In my opinion, the most worth it thing I did to this car. I know I spoke about headlights, I know I spoke about all that stuff, but none of it is more worth it than the smile that goes on your face when you're shifting gears in your K car and it sounds like you're in like a Skyline or something. It's just beautiful. And for only $360, not including shipping of course, but 360 is nothing. You get an actual factory Blitz blow valve, hard intercooler pipe, hard intercooler pipe and then a cool intake with a nice little blitz filter you can't beat that some more maintenance things that fixed the ac that was about like 40 bucks it has a brand new horn right here that was about 25 dollars all this stuff is like the relays for the headlights and stuff like that also put brand new spark plugs something that was like the most mandatory thing i did in the first real mod i did the car was you can't see it obviously but it has a new exhaust manifold an exhaust manifold gasket nuts bolts valve cover gasket all that stuff was done when I first first got the car because when I got the car I had a really bad boost leak and it wouldn't even go into boost it was basically non-running driving experience wise I'm gonna say it's it's very similar to my other Jiminy kind of the same exact car basically uh, all right all right all right let's go all right let's give it a pull I want to give it a proper pull oh my god first to second is crazy to give it a nice little pull so second gear oh a hiccup just now let's try that again mm, what is that let me go into third and try to do it too what is that jerking yeah today's the day that i go balls deep in the jimmy I'm talking every single piece, every single belt, every single gasket. Look at this. There's parts after parts after parts. New radio today. Headliner this week. Everything. Where's the manifold? Everything is getting swapped out today. Today's the day that I'm actually going to own a Jimny. Look at the size of this turbo. <laughs> Look at the little turbine. And then look at my old manifold. Crack here. Uh, crack somewhere here. I got one, but it's way Huge bad. crack right there. This is actually good. This is a way better line. That's why I got it for so cheap, but after doing that, it completely transformed the car and it hasn't given me an issue since. As far as under the hood goes, that's pretty much it. Same battery when I got the car. This is brand new, but I value this at like $10. This is brand new. I paid like 20 bucks for this. Same spark plug wires. Oh, brand new vacuum lines everywhere, if you can see. They're all nice and like you can kind of still see the date. New vacuum lines everywhere. That's another thing you have to do when you first get the Jimny because these things have so many vacuum lines that Again, you go to AutoZone for like 20 bucks. It's 100% worth it. So new vacuum lines everywhere. I value that at like $25, I guess, 20 bucks. Not a big deal. Another big upgrade is that my car was swooshing all over the place when I first got it. So I put brand new KYB shocks straight from a Samurai. Huge improvement. It doesn't ride smooth. If you have a Jimny, you know that doesn't ride smooth, but it's a huge improvement from my old blown shocks. But yeah, that's why I love this Jimny so much. And to be honest, I don't want to sell it. The only reason I want to sell it is because as a YouTuber and a content creator, there's nothing more I can do. Like you guys let me know what more I can do to this car to justify keeping it. I do want to paint that black so it can go with the car. But again, it's like, that's nothing fun. I feel like you guys want to see something fun. You want to see me get an Acti, you want to see me get a K-Truck, a Sandbar, a Honda Today, a Pajero, something cool. And I want to get something cool new too. So with that being said, I'm going to break down the prices right now. And I'll tell you the total value I put into my Jimny in these last six months, including the car. And then I'll tell you how much I want to sell it for. So interior wise, I'll show a screenshot of everything I spoke about earlier. It's $751. In my opinion, this looks really nice for 751 bucks. Again, I'm not including shipping, which is a very big cost, but I'll include it at the end, but 751 bucks. New radio, new seat covers, seat rail, boost gauge, radio speaker, shift knob, center console, little door locks, just a lot of stuff to make your Jimny stand out. In my opinion, 100% worth it. Exterior wise, this one's a lot more, but it has the wrap rims and all that stuff. I value it at 3,200 bucks. Again, I'll show the guys a screenshot. New rims, new tires. 
the wrap alone i have to give it two g's i feel like it would be even more but two g's little things like the tow hook clear lights again i didn't do too much the biggest thing really is the wrap like it's not like i did i guess the tents too i involved the tents that's a hundred dollars i didn't even write that down but we could put the tents for a hundred bucks and there's a lot of things i did that i didn't mention like i painted this black i painted the wipers black i painted the little arms black i did a lot of like diy stuff like the calipers i'm not going to mention all that because to me that's just diy fun stuff you can do that for free or like 20 bucks that's not really worth it in the price and now let's talk about maintenance that's 936 dollars the two most expensive things being the manifold rebuild basically and the blow off kit it does if someone's gonna ask i feel like someone might it does pull a lot better it makes a huge difference i never got to drive the car with a non-cracked manifold i want to start a video because i know i have one a new manifold hard intercooler pipes it boosts about 10 pounds which again it's a k car it's not a really big deal but it pulls like it really drives you back this car is so much fun to drive that i know my next car which makes me pretty sad it's not going to be as fun like even if i got a cappuccino it's basically just a smaller miata i've never and i feel like ron cox everyone that drives a car says it it's a very weird combination of fun things. So I'm in the grass right now. I could put four wheel drive and do drive everything here if I wanted to, but then you get the blow of off sound. And then the interior isn't like a Jeep Wrangler or a crappy chimney. Like I wanted to make sure it was a very nice car. Like look, everything is nice and black, fake leather. The steering wheel is nice and wood grain, boost gauge. It's like a great mix of off-road speed and comfortability. The best three things you want in a car in my opinion and then the last cost and the most expensive is the car i got this car for 3500 from josh shout out to him again you guys are probably never going to find a jimny that cheap but this one was non-running and you know me and josh are homies i bought a bunch of cars from him i bought the wagon r i bought my first jimny from him we did raffles together so he hooked it up he gave me this car for 3500 very good deal even came with the rack and you guys will see pictures of how it looks it was rough but I love rough, if you guys can tell, pause. But to me, the more work, the better. And if you guys can see, I wanna to continue to do fun things like this with K cars, K trucks, more Jimny's maybe, just more fun cars in general. And to me, that's why I wanna sell this. So let's get into the grand total of everything, the car, all the modifications I did, the grand total and see how much I wanna sell it for. All right, now for the price breakdown. So I got the car for $3,500. If we add all the modifications I did, we're at $8,500, give or take, most likely it's more, but $8,500. And then shipping, I'm only gonna say $1,000. I feel like if you ordered everything that I just mentioned to you from All Things JDM, it'll be more than $1,000, but I'm gonna just say $1,000 because I didn't get everything at once and I don't wanna discourage people to not buy parts because shipping might kill you because again, you know what you're getting into when you're buying one of these. You know what you're getting into when you're buying a car from Japan that isn't sold here. So luckily with the Jimny, I was able to get a lot of things stateside, like the shocks, headlights, a bunch of stuff aren't too hard in comparison to like Actis or Cappuccinos where they don't exist. So I'm only gonna say $1,000 for shipping. And then lastly, labor and time, again, $1,000 because I didn't like bore the header or do anything like that. All I did was change the exhaust manifold. I have videos for mostly everything here. You could do most of all this stuff yourself. It's just time. It took us like a month to wrap this car. I know it won't take most people that long. And then the wiring and all that stuff, again, not the end of the world. So that brings me to 10.5. I want to sell this car for more if I'm going to be honest. I feel like 10.5 is a steal. As much as I love Jimny's, I see Jimny's for sale for like 9, 8, even 10. And they don't have half the stuff that this car has. And this car is mechanically perfect in my opinion. I'll start it up right now. It does have a lot of miles and it does have some rust. But those are two things I never really cared about. It has 186,000 kilometers. I drive this car every single day. It doesn't have any issues. You guys can hear the engine right now. Nice and smooth. Let's hear that blow valve. Come on, come on. That's coming from a Jimny. A Jimny, a 660cc three cylinder single overhead cam car. That is, that alone is $10,500. But yeah, there you have it. Jimny build, sad to see it go. Excited to see what's next. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. If you have a Jimny, comment below. I'll answer any questions. I'll show you guys some of the 
other things that this car has that just came with it in my opinion this aggressive bumper is really nice it's not boring like the other ones has this little bar right there come to this roof rack too which in my opinion very nice at least 500 dollars what other stuff did the car come with again it has like the matching rear bumper that's cool this is really nice has the gas tank protector right here i was gonna put an exhaust and if i keep the car which i most likely won't i still might but i straight pipe my old chimney it was really loud and this car is like perfect amount of volume also has these two things but yeah here you have it jimny the roof is black the rest of the car is this cool space color i'll show it on the screen right now very nice so i'm in this video here the jimny's for sale ten thousand five hundred price is very firm Please don't message me with $8,000, $7,000, even $10,000. I don't need to sell this car. I just don't really need two cars, but I'll keep it. It's mechanically perfect. I live in the Northeast. It's gonna snow very soon. I don't know if I wanna be driving a K truck in the snow or a Honda today. It's not really the best car. This on the other hand, brand new tires, brand new everything. I know this car is gonna get me out of any problem I'm gonna have. So I'll probably keep it. But if you're watching this video and you want this car, please hit me up, DM me on Instagram, 10,500. I'm not even gonna make a Facebook listing for this yet because I want one of you guys to buy it before like a random Joe Schmo buys it from Long Island because I want to meet one of you guys. I think it'd be cool. Maybe I'll make some merch for the winner. Do something fun. I want this to be a fun for sale car. I don't even want to raffle it. I know people are gonna comment, I should raffle it. I don't really want to raffle it, but if it gets to that point and someone wants me to raffle it really badly, maybe we'll do that. But I catch you guys on the next one. Peace and love. Excited for 2023. I'm definitely gonna miss the Jimny. Remember the name. This is way before the fame.